Let's take a look at the vendor subcontracting process in SAP ECC and also in SAP S4 HANA. Let me give you an example first and then we will jump into the system and see everything, including all the configurations and the process in action. Imagine our company sells books, but we only have the capacity and the resources to manufacture those books without the cover page. The design and the print of the cover page is done by our subcontractor, which is one of our vendors, meaning that we send the vendor the books and he performs a so-called subcontracting service, which is painting the cover page on the books. Then the vendor sends the books back to us and we pay him for the services performed. This process includes creating a bill of material where we state all the components we are going to send to our vendor in this case the books without a cover page, creating a purchasing info record for subcontracting order so we can populate most of the fields when creating the purchase order automatically. Then we create a purchase order where we are in the end purchasing the service or the services performed by the subcontractor. Afterwards we allocate our blank books to the subcontractor so that he can work with the books. Then the subcontractor will send us the finished books with the cover page so we post the goods received and afterwards we will post an invoice to pay the services that the subcontractor performed to us. Let's jump in the system and start with creating a bill of material. That's CS01. We select our material, in my case the book without the cover page, select the plant and the bomb usage is mandatory. Let's actually ex expand the view over here. In our case, production is fine. And then we hit enter. Now we provide a component. In our case, this would be the book without the cover page that we are going to send to our subcontractor. And the quantity will be one because we use one book without the cover page and we receive back still one book, but this time with the cover page. The component unit would be pieces. Most importantly also is here the item category. In our case, we have a classical stock item. And that's basically it. Now let's save the bill of material. Now let's create a purchasing info record for our subcontracting process. This is done by transaction code ME11. That's slash N ME11. We include our vendor, the material, our purchase organization and the plant. And over here in the info category, we choose subcontracting. On the general data, we don't need to fill anything over here right now. So we go to purchase org data one, include the plant delivery time, the purchasing group, as well as the standard quantity. And then we included the net price. This is in this case, not the price of an item we purchase, but the price of the services that are performed by our subcontractor. Let's say for simplicity, 10 euro per piece. And we can save the purchase info record. Now it's time to create a purchase order via transaction code ME21N. That's slash N ME21N. We provide our supplier, the purchase organization, purchasing group and company code. Then we include here our material. So this is in that case, our finished book with the cover page. We enter our plant and storage location and the amount we are going to receive, let's say 10 pieces. And also very important is that we mark the item over here as a subcontracting item. Now you can also see that the net price has been derived from the purchasing info record for the subcontracting. We must include our storage location and then we need to navigate for the line item to the material data. And over here we can click on explode BOM, which is the bill of materials we already created. So let's click on this one. And we can see the information is filled automatically. In our case, we need to provide to the subcontractor the material, which is our book without the cover page. The required quantity is for sure also 10 pieces because we want to receive 10 books with the cover page included. And therefore we need to send 10 books to our vendor. Now let's save the purchase order. Just go back and click on save and the purchase order has been created successfully. Now it's time to allocate the blank books to our subcontractor. This could be done via the MIGO transaction, but there is a dedicated transaction for the subcontracting process, which is called ME2ON slash N ME2ON. 
Now we want to send the components to our vendor. The component would be our book without the cover page. We provide the plant and let's it execute. We can see that the requirement of our 10 books is not yet fulfilled, indicated here with the red dot. What we now need to do is we need to select the line over here, then we click on more and post goods issue. Or you could alternatively also use the combination of shift and F11 on your keyboard. We get an error message that our storage location is missing. So we provide the storage location over here. Let's check again. The status is now green and we can create a document. And we can see the document has been posted. Let's actually take this number over here and display it in the MIGO transaction. So we navigate to slash n m i g o, that's slash n m i g o. We click on display, material document, insert our document number and hit enter. And here we can see that the goods have been transferred from our stock to the vendor over here. We can also inspect the movement type in the where tab, which is movement type 541. Let's actually display this one and we can see transfer posting to stock with a subcontractor from the unrestricted used stock. So from our unrestricted used stock, we transferred to the stock of the subcontracting vendor our 10 books without a cover page. If we go to document information, FI documents, we can see no subsequent documents found in accounting. This is because as of now, we are still the owner. So we just transferred books to our vendor so that he can perform the services. Now it's time to actually post the goods received for the finished books. So meaning that let's imagine that we received the finished goods from our subcontractor that have now the cover page included. And this is also done via the MIGO transaction. So let's go to goods received from purchase order. We insert our purchase order number, hit enter. Here we can actually expand the view and we can see in this case we have a goods received for our book with a cover page to our unrestricted stock and we have a goods issue from the subcontracting stock from the vendor because before we delivered our books without a cover page to our subcontracting vendor so we did a stock transfer to the subcontracting stock and now we issue again from the subcontracting stock because the vendor delivered us the finished books. We mark the items as okay and then we do the posting and we can see the material document has been posted successfully. This time when we inspect the document via display material document and click on document info, FI documents, accounting documents, we can see a bunch of accounting entries. Now it's time for the final step, which would be to post the invoice. This is done via transaction code MIRO, slash N, M-I-R-O. We provide the invoice date, reference. Then over here we include our purchase order. The amount is 100 and we exclude taxes over here and also for the line item as this is not important as of now. And then we post our invoice. We can inspect the invoice via more, invoice document display, and also the financial entries via follow on documents where we see, as always, a credit to the vendor account and a debit to the GIR clearing account. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Thanks a lot and see you soon.